What's going on, guys? It's your boy Theo, and I'm here bringing to you my Azamina Snake Eyes deck profile. Now, originally, I was playing with Azamina Snake Eyes Fiendsmith, and although I do like the options it gives to bait out hand traps, I find that the downside to that is that a lot of like the extra Fiendsmith stuff, that like the extra engravers. Don't really provide uh, much to the deck. On top of that, your extra deck is very limiting to what you can play because part of that is dedicated to just going into your combos. Um, it's a fun deck. Don't get me wrong. I like it. It's still very strong. Um, but I find this deck gives you a lot more control and a lot more options when dealing with multiple things. Um what's going on in the game so without further ado this is pure snake guy as amina with no fiendsmith and let's get it right into the profile we're going to start off with the right now the best card in the deck is uh diabell star uh three as a must any as amina deck you have to run this but it's just so good uh we're gonna go in the snake eyes cards one ash one poplar one flam burge uh, me and my my homie uh, call him Flambuji. Uh but yeah, uh, and one Diabell Star. Um, I used to run when Snake Eyes hat was full thing. I used to run two for the follow up things. You only need the one. Um, I so yeah, and then for follow up plays, we run two oaks. You know, having the second oak uh, is really uh, important, especially if. You have to do follow-up things on the next turn. So it's always good to have that. Um, now into the hand traps. We run three Fualos. Um, welcome back, Maxi. Enough said. We run three Ash. Ash. Ash is just really good in general. Like, like if there's any hand trap, all decks should at least be running. If you can't get Fualos, it's easily Ash Blossom. Three Veiler. Um, yeah, this helps, you know, stop whatever effects. Three imperm. Um, again, more more monster negates. Um, we run the new Dominus Impulse. This card is cracked. You know, since we don't have to worry about see what I like about this versus Fiend Smith is this this fits so much better in the Fiend Smith. Uh, taking up the Fiend Smith slots, this provides so much more value because you just stop your opponents from uh special summoning you know it's just, and you can and just destroy it it's a great way and if they control something you know you could just activate every hand it's another hand trap so it and it's so it's 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 so good so good uh yeah if i know fualos and impulse are both expensive if you have a deck that does not really require Light, Earth, and Wind. You should definitely put this in there. Priorities, I would say prioritize these over Fualos. Not saying Fualos is bad. You should try to get Fualos as well. But if if you're on a budget and want to try to get something impactful, definitely get the Impulses. That's what I did. I prioritized Impulses versus Fualos. So. But yeah, that's just my two cents. Uh, of course, now the Azamina engine. You want, we run the three Deception, the one card starter. We run the one Hollowed Azamina. We run one Original Sinful Spoils. One Divine Temple. Um, the other cards is three Wanted. Three Bonfire. Yes, I plan to upgrade these to Secrets. Just for, um, Really, the best card in the deck to protect yourself is three Crossouts. I know people are going two and one. Um... Called by, I like three crossouts because the hand traps you run, everyone's gonna run, and this will just guarantee you just to just stop it in general. And the one other card is the angel statue, Azarine. If that doesn't give away what's one in my extra deck, yes, I'm running silhouette rabbit. All right, so now into the extra deck. So the Azamina cards, we're running the one Illa Silva and the one Moo. These are needed. 
Um, now into the links. We run the Anima. This is your link one. Nightmare Phoenix. Hita. Dark. Because a lot of people play it. Like, I think these are just really good to be able to continue and go off. You you need them. Um, but as I mean, as a round, Dark is very impactful. You definitely need to be running the Dark. Now, of course, we run the IPSP. The one silhouette rabbit. So those are all my uh, link twos. Now the link three is obviously Promethean Princess. Now the link fours. I like Ambler Whale still. This provides any back row removal. This just is just really good. Raging Phoenix. Atlantis for OTK. And in case you just need to pop things instead of going that, you can go into access code. Um, I was also thinking of going Underworld Goddess to break boards. Um... This can be Underworld if you prefer. Um, I just think Access Code is cool. No, uh, <laughs> nothing. Else. And the one Xyz is the Hope Harbinger, um, just as a form of negate. Um, which, if you were playing the Fiends and Snake Eyes, this would obviously be High King Caesar. And then, of course, your other negate would be uh, Desiree. So, but this deck. Uh, Interruptions and negates are almost going to be in your main deck. Um, this just sets up a very solid board with a lot more flexibility. So I still like both decks a lot. Um, the next profile I'll probably build is Fire King Azamina Snake Eyes because that deck is bonkers. And yeah, if there's anything you'd like me to see or build at some point and interest in me trying to cook, um, just like, comment, subscribe my video, and uh, see you next time.